Chapter 13 Living in the Palace They are now totally confined, locked inside. He reassures me. And I want you to know that if I am able to ignore them for now, you should too. What can you see there? He notices that I am beginning to observe things, as if I haven't seen them before. They're trembling, terrified. My voice is a mix of surprise and triumph. The dark little creatures watch as we are discussing how to clear them away. Beyond the bravado and bluff, what stands out most is their nervousness. They know their days are numbered. I speak out with a smile. I mean, what chance do they stand now? And it will remain that way, he shows me. As long as you follow a few simple rules. The main things are to keep the lights up bright. And above all, keep listening to my directions. He warns me gently of the consequences of getting out on a limb, detached from him. You must stay in touch all the time. What you have learned up till now is not sufficient for what is ahead. I don't fully understand the significance of this or how to do it, but I am to begin to learn in the days and seasons ahead. And there's one other thing. Sometimes it has been helpful to listen to what others tell you, especially when they show you things out of the book. But from now on, I will be your teacher. Is that all right? So what? What do I do when someone important tells me what to do? As we continue to discuss it, I begin to see that I am going to be a little misunderstood at times. If I take this apparently haughty stance. Don't worry. Just keep looking at me. Deep inside, I am assured that this is right. What starts happening now that I am living back inside the palace, at least some of it, is that each day, some of them pop their heads up and try to fire something feeble at me. But their gunpowder, in most cases, has become damp. So now, as each one pops up, my reaction is different. I no longer start muttering about what a nuisance it is, as I would have in the past. I no longer get embarrassed if a friend sees them still popping up. I stand there now beside the master, listening to him as he shows me what I should be doing. I then start declaring out loud what he has said, proclaiming the truth of his words, and I do 
anything he tells me. This stronghold contains a treasure for me to enjoy, I call out. You pathetic, scurrying lies, pretending to be so strong, you are defeated. You are no longer keeping my treasure. This is the simple manner in which they are destroyed, one by one, as they are identified. Is my word not like a fire, the Lord says? And like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. Jeremiah 23 Each time they trouble you, remind them of what happened at the battle, he tells me. Remind them that you have been given a new life, which I made possible. Remind them that they are sentenced to death. God put everything under Christ's feet. Hebrews 2 Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where death is your victory? Where, grave of Hades, is your sting? 1 Corinthians 15 That'll put them in their place. 